What is a man? What is a woman? Journey of a Pregnant Man. Three hours by car from Portland through mountains, deserts, and farms is Bend, Oregon. A former logging town, many settle here for its natural beauty, others to raise a family. Its most famous family lives here, where the blinds are constantly drawn and surveillance cameras surround the property. We shouldn't have to do this, but, you know, we just want our privacy. Inside, there is no Hollywood celebrity, just the Beatties. Thomas, 34, his wife Nancy, 46, and their four-month-old daughter, Susan. Hi. <laughs> Yeah. For months, they have really been seen in public. Do you see yourself as a traditional family? We do. We are man, woman, and child. It's, it's ironic that we are so different, but yet we're just a family, just the same as anyone else. They are, but they're not. Is this real, a pregnant man? Pregnant man? You gotta see it to believe it. I'm sorry, the man with the beard is having a baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> It wasn't Nancy who carried their baby, it was Thomas. Oh, that feels so weird. <laughs> Last spring, this photograph and the stunning announcement that Thomas Beatty, a transgender man, was pregnant, sparked controversy. This story is very disturbing. And provoked questions. Did he get himself pregnant? You know, we don't know. That's, a, that's the kind of questions we have. About our traditional notions of what is a man, what is a woman, and how could Beatty deliver his own child? There's no law that says that men can't give birth. Even some transgender people were shocked. I mean, my first thought was, is this going to be good for our people? Beatty claims to be the first, but is he? By no means is he the first pregnant man. Some see him as a freak of nature, someone you'd find inside a carnival tent. You're not even considered a man. You're an it. But it may not be as freaky as it seems. Traditional gender boundaries are dissolving all around us. In the last few years, transgender people have gained gradual acceptance, even showing up in Hollywood plot lines. Okay, let's just cut to it. They soften the jaw, slim the nose, lower the hairline, shave the Adam's apple, and then there are the implants. Last year, I reported on how children as young as five years old are transitioning from one gender to another. Can you ever remember not feeling like a girl? But what happens when that transgender child grows up and wants to have a baby? How does a man who becomes a woman, or a woman who becomes a man, conceive a child? Tonight, the Thomas Beatty story. She's just smiling. Step on her. And the new world of alternative families. Good evening. Thomas Beatty gave birth to a baby girl this past June, but he has never spoken publicly about that experience until now. Thomas has a newly published book titled Labor of Love, tracing his remarkable life story, and you will hear about all that as he and his wife Nancy share their exclusive home videos of how their child was conceived and how she was born. You will also meet other couples who test our notions of what is a man and what is a woman. This program may not be appropriate for children, but it will no doubt spark controversy and debate among your family and friends. You make a great many people very uneasy. Why is that? Here is a man with facial hair, with a mustache, with scars under his breasts, pregnant. It is a disturbing picture, Thomas. I think that people are not used to seeing the image of a pregnant man. And um, it's causing a lot of people to think. Thomas, what is a man? I feel that you're not born a man, you become a man. However, I, I also do feel that I was born biologically male up in my brain. So it's what's in my head? Yes. When I wake up in the morning, I feel like a man. You know, Thomas, that there are people who say that just because you've taken testosterone, cut your hair short, had your breasts removed, that doesn't make you a man. You have a woman's reproductive organs. Therefore, they say you are a woman. I used my female reproductive organs to become a father. Aren't you trying to have it both ways? <laughs> well, first of all, what would be wrong with that? I'm not trying to change people's minds. I'm just asking them to open them. Before he was Thomas, she was Tracy, and she grew up in Hawaii. 
Looking at Tracy, the daughter of a biracial marriage, you would never know that her mother's family tree includes two American presidents, Benjamin Harrison and William Henry Harrison. You are a beautiful young girl. Thank you. <laughs> Did people used to say what a pretty girl you are? Yes, I get that comment a lot. People say, how could you have changed to being a man? You were such a pretty girl. I mean, you could have had any man you wanted. Growing up, did you feel male or female? I just felt like me. As, as me, I felt rough and tumbly. I didn't like frilly stuff. In 1986, when Beatty was 12 years old, his mother committed suicide. His father, whom he is not close to, pushed his tomboy daughter into becoming a model. The pictures of you at that age are really quite beautiful. When you looked in the mirror, what did you see? Back then, I did not see an attractive young girl. I was just trying to please my father. Putting on makeup, I felt like I was putting on a costume. And we'll begin our competition with our first contestant, Tracy Lagandino. In 1989, when you were just 14, you entered Miss Teen Hawaii USA contest. You are a finalist. I remember feeling uncomfortable on stage. I remember I smiled so hard that my muscles just quivered for days afterward. It, it was a surreal experience. You didn't feel, aren't I beautiful? Oh no, I felt plastic. Although Beatty had several boyfriends, he now says he endured but hated sex. Here we go. One, two, three, four, squat. This is Tracy yeah, in an exercise one, video. Two, three, <laughs> Trading modeling and pageants for karate and the gym, Tracy began to dress like a man and use the men's bathroom. At 24, she began a lesbian relationship with Nancy, a bodybuilder, eventually moving in with her and her two daughters from a previous marriage. Nancy is a very unique person. She loves and likes people because of who they are on the inside. She was not attracted to me because I was female or male, but because I was just me. Then in 1998, Beatty decided to change genders. Psychological testing confirmed that Beatty identified as a man, and she began to medically transform her body, first by injecting the male hormone, testosterone. And it happened pretty rapidly. My voice started to change. It started to crack like I was going through puberty. It was an incredible feeling. My bones felt stronger. My ligaments felt stronger. Uh, I started to grow facial hair. You love to shave. Well, yeah, not as much as my wife would like me to. <laughs> in 2002, Beatty, still legally Tracy, had sex reassignment surgery to irreversibly remove her breasts. What was that like when you saw yourself? Wow. That day was the most liberating day of my life. I literally felt like a weight was lifted from my chest. That's pretty impressive. To legally change genders is a long and complicated process. No federal law applies, and state requirements vary. In Hawaii, with a letter from a doctor certifying Beatty's psychological testing and irreversible surgery, he was legally allowed to change his birth certificate from female to male, and his name from Tracy to Thomas. I am legally male on my birth certificate, social security card index, passport, marriage license, all the way down to my bracelet uh, at the hospital while I was giving birth that says I was male. Now people ask the big question. If you wanted to be a man, why didn't you have your female reproductive organs removed? I don't feel like removing your sexual reproductive organs will make you any more of a man or any less, less of a woman and vice versa. Um, I just don't see it that way. You also could have had bottom surgery, what's called a uh, phalloplasty, in which a penis is, an artificial penis is made, yes. You decided not to do that. That's right. Taking flesh from your forearm and constructing something that appears to be a penis, and in my opinion, does not make you any more of a man. I'm sorry to be very graphic, but Well, how? anatomically, the clitoris is analogous to a penis, and with testosterone, it grows. So it, it looks like a penis. It, it acts like a penis. So you, you make love the way a man and a woman would make love? Yes. But you also have a vagina? I do. In 2003, Thomas and Nancy were legally married in Hawaii as husband and wife. Do you consider yourself a heterosexual couple? Mm -hmm. You consider yourself man and wife? Yes. 
What do you say to people who say, you're still lesbians? But I don't like labels. You know, I'm just in love with this person. If this person was female in the beginning and is now male, that's, this is who I'm attracted to. The story may have ended there if the Beatties had never decided to have children, but they did. And when we come back, the shocking news heard around the world that it wasn't Nancy who was pregnant. Who best to carry our baby but you. me? <laughs> <laughs>